This is demo video for Triple E CPE 64. This is lab number four, and this is a demo for part zero. This is the code. This is the code to do the uh, 1101 sequence recognizer, and it's based on a Moore model, not Mealy, the Moore model. So you can see there's a output Y and the input equations for the three flip-flops A, B, and C all defined and there's always an initial begin and end to update the flip-flops and initialize the flip-flops. So this is the code and uh, we're going to we're going to save it and compile Assign the pin statements. So it goes through the compilation. In full plan, the pin assignments is these 186, 188, and 12. And then there's Supposedly, 188, 186 is this guy. So we're going to use this as the input D. Input D is the sequence 1101 is going to come in. So this is 1, this is going to be 0, this is going to be our D. And this is the clock. 188 is the clock. So when it's pushed down, the clock becomes one. When it releases, the clock becomes zero. So we can use this to emulate the clock. And that dials there, the LED dials number four, will be pin twelve, the output Y. Output Y. So we have two inputs, D and the the clock. And the dial Y as the output. So that's the uh, that's the uh, pin now, the floor plan, and then we save this, and then we go to configure the target device, and uh, boundary scan, initialize chain, and then we have this jet file to save the handout configuration and to generate this runtime module and we can program so we can double click program here once it starts to program the xilinx the green ball the green ball gets to be reset and then loaded it with a new program this will take a few seconds Okay, it's loaded. And then you can see, alright, initially all the flip-flops are reset in the initial begin and end in the code. So that dials here, the dials here's inverse logic is let on, it means off. Actually it means zero. When the light's on is zero. That means we don't have the sequence. And then we, I'm going to present D input 1. So I push this red button down. The light is on. That is input 1. And this, kind of like a toggle switch, is going to present the clock. So I push it once. That means the clock uh, cycle goes high and then goes down. Becomes 1 and then becomes 0. And on the leading clock rising edge, this one is registered into the state machine. The output right now is still zero because this is just the first uh, digit in the sequence 1101. And then the second one is one as well, so we leave that one there as the D input. And the second clock cycle comes. So that also made 
the second one sent to the state machine that's emulated right here in the CPU, so I think CPU for the program. And then the state is still output zero. That's because we only have one and one. And then the third number is zero. Okay, third binary number. And then we have this clock once. That means zero is sent in. So the sequence of the input is one one zero now. And then the last one is one. We're going to present one at D. But the clock has got to couple. The clock is there. So you can see once the clock rises, that dial number four becomes off. Off means true. So the sequence is reached. So the state machine right now is at state four, and then the one is the output at the dial number four. That means the Y output is one right now. And then if you have a new input, say zero, and then the clock goes in immediately, zero is the new number. So that breaks the sequence 1101. And then the new zero comes in, the state goes back to state zero. It's not output uh, one anymore, the output becomes zero. So next time, if you have 1101, and then that will output one again, which means the light will go off. So you can see one, the clock is going, and then stays one, the clock goes, that means one and one, and then zero is at D, and then clock goes, that means one one zero, and then the last is one, the clock goes, and then the light went off, meaning it's true, one one zero one has been detected. And if it stays one, we click it again, that means we have two ones using the previous one at the ending sequence. So we have two ones now. And then zero clock and then one clock and the output is true again. So we have one one zero one again.